mean, this is completely on Mason Plumley. Why are you just standing here letting Bam Adebayo chill inside the block? Get up and battle for position right now. Look at Mason Plumley. He's just standing and standing and standing. So now look, now Bam Adebayo's got you sealed and you're forced to front the post without backside help. Okay, I mean, there's got to be more urgency on this play. P.J. Washington's got to get up and immediately come here. That's number one. Mason Plumley's got to sprint over here now. Like, you got to commute. There's just not urgency on this play. Mason Plumley standing, and P.J. Washington didn't go anywhere. Okay, I mean, Terry Rozier is just being too casual away from the ball. You're guarding Max Struess. He's coming up here. Why are you not up here staying with him? Like, you're just walking, so now look what ends up happening. Your feet aren't set, so here comes a handoff that you're just not ready to guard just be from being casual. Okay, I mean, Mason Plumley's got to get up here and guard Adebayo. Or he's got to have his, like, right now, like, you got to have your feet set in a defensive stance on the catch. Like, Adebayo catches this, and look at Mason Plumley. His feet are not set. So you're just instantly backpedaling. So now you're just selling out for a charge and don't get it. Come on, I mean, your LaMelo ball in transition, you got to sprint back. That's rule number one of transition. Like, there's no reason that Kyle Lowry here gets ahead of you, other than whatever you were doing. Okay, so first of all, Jalen McDaniels is doubling, I guess. So Mason Plumley needs to stay home. What is Mason Plumley doing? Stop. Mason plumley has got to stay here. So Terry Rozier needs to get up because he'd have to rotate on this double team. That's why plumley has got to stay here because he'd have to come up here, Kelly Oubre here, and then McDaniels comes here. But, like, a lot, none of that. Okay, I mean, if you're Jalen McDaniels and you're helping, you've got to have your feet set. You can't be moving inward. Look at this. I mean, Jalen McDaniels... If his feet are set, he can help and recover. But he's moving towards the ball on this pass. So now with Jimmy Butler, I mean... I mean, you're Kelly Oubre here. After this pass, you can't just totally ignore Jimmy Butler, obviously. You're you're just staring at the ball. Why? What? If you're Nick Richards, again, your feet have to be set in drop coverage, okay? Drop coverage is I can guard the ball, but I can also recover. See, Nick Richards, I mean, you're not even set up where the screen is happening. So you're just instantly backpedaling, and you, I mean, obviously have no chance to recover. Why is JT Thor crowding Max Struess here? Like, you can get up and guard Max Struess, but why do you have to hug him? Look at, I mean, you're literally hugging him. How easy is this now to, for him to create space to beat you back door? Okay, I mean, you're Mason Plumley. This is already a mismatch on the perimeter that you have to guard Kyle Lowry. You can't have your hands on your knees. Like, you got to be in a defensive stance. You got to have your feet set. You got to be ready to guard. Like, you're just not. I mean, come on. Okay, I mean, we have a turnover here. Could we get some effort here? Like, this is a loose ball, and all three of these Hornets players see this. So could we all, it's like, sprint back now? Like, I... I mean, the Hornets just don't defend this down screen at all the right way. Mason Plumley doesn't get attached to his man out of, out of bio and show so that Jimmy Butler can't curl, and P.J. Washington's going up the gut. I mean, you literally just did the two things you can't do defending a down screen, so now Jimmy Butler's open. This is just really bad ball screen defense by Nick Richards. Bam out of bio is coming up to set a screen. He's setting the screen this way, so why are you not positioned here? Like, So the, the first thing of drop coverage is you got to keep the ball in front of you. And uh, you just, like, don't. I mean, you got a cross screen here from Max Struess. Lamella Ball's got a jam out of bio as he comes through this cross screen so Plumley can get on the other side. You don't do that. So now Plum look at out of bio Plumley's not on the other side in time, and it's this is easy. Okay, I mean, you got another cross screen right here. Terry Rozier, you got to get in front, connected to your man, and jam out of bio as he comes through. Like, this is just not good enough right here. Like, so look at the space that is created here. So now there's this screen that's getting set, and Plumley can't guard it because the cross screen wasn't defended. Okay, I mean, if you're P.J. Washington, you got to get back. Okay, you're not going to be guarding Jimmy Butler here anyways. You're behind the ball, and there's Hornets players ahead of you that are going to obviously take the ball. So you got to avoid Jimmy Butler doing this, which is keeping you on his back. Like, you got to avoid that. You're not guarding Jimmy Butler anyways. So... Go this way. Like, you can't be stuck on Jimmy Butler's back, and now you're not a part of the play. Okay, so, I mean, where's P.J. Washington getting back to? You got to get back over. You're not guarding the ball, okay? So you need to be getting back this 
way because you can't get back to the middle of nowhere. You're getting back to the middle of nowhere. You're going to a place right now, or were, where you had you weren't guarding anyone. See, if you were getting back and you were here, now you could get to Max Struess, but you, you're just not. I mean, this is another down screen. Uh, Plumlee's got to get attached, arms out, so that Max Struess can't curl. You don't do that so Max Struess can curl. Now Kelly Oubre has no time to get over the screen. It's just catch and shoot. I mean, it's very simple. P.J. Washington spending too much time staring at the ball. Look at him stare at the ball. So, pfft. Okay, I mean, look at Mason Plumlee's eyes right here. Why is he staring at the ball? you gotta be, you got to be battling for a position with Adebayo as he comes down the middle here. Stop. Like, you can't, you're staring at the ball as opposed to being ready to guard Adebayo. So Adebayo's going to catch this ball, and you're still scrambling to get out now. So now you're going to be off balance guarding him. He's already caught this ball too low, and it's just too easy. I mean, you obviously, if you're James Booknight, cannot guard like this. you got to keep your man in front of you, right? I mean, your man's not in front of you, so, like, th this... Okay, I mean, if James Booknight is going under right here, then Nick Richards has got to give him space. James, the only way James Booknight is going to get on the other side of the screen in time is if he avoids contact with the screener. But Nick Richards is not giving him space, so James Booknight makes contact with the screener. And again, Gabe Vincent's now right to the rim. Guard like this. Look at James Booknight's eyes. You're already looking for a screen. You're not paying attention to the ball. So because you're not paying attention to the ball, now when you actually... Look at you're already backpedaling. Gabe Vincent's done nothing. So, pfft. So now you're all, you have to switch the screen already before get you're already beat before Gabe Vincent comes off the screen. So now PJ Washington is going to have to switch late and Gabe Vincent's open. Why is LaMelo Ball giving up this angle right here to Gabe Vincent? I mean, if you're going to play on Gabe Vincent's side, why are you not forcing him here? There's help here. Like Nick Richards is right here. There's no help where you're allowing Gabe Vincent to go. So now he's just going to be able to turn the corner and be open. Hey, I mean, I don't know why Jalen McDaniels is coming in here to help. This ball screen, Nick Richards is in drop coverage. So why, like, I don't understand. What is Jalen McDaniels accomplishing by helping here, other than now Max Struess is open? I mean, LaMelo Ball, first of all, is staring, waiting for a screen while he's guarding the ball. Look at his eyes. See how he's looking for a screen right now? So what does that do? Well, now LaMelo Ball is going to get up and play on his side. The problem with this is, is now Adebayo doesn't have to, you're already beat. Adebayo can just slip this screen. And that, I mean, now it's just a two-on-one. Okay, if the Hornets are switching here, then why is Mason Plumley all the way down here? Like, if this is a switch, then Plumley should be up here, ready to guard the ball. Like, Plumley is n not, I don't yeah, I mean, this is the problem with LaMelo Ball hugging Max Strews here. I mean, because you're hugging him, he create. look at how he just created space. That's all because you were hugging him. So now you're going to be late to get on the other side of this handoff. Uh